in our kitchen. Yes. Now, yesterday we went to the pub and had a really nice dinner. That's true. Yes, but when it came to dessert, I wanted to have something very special. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't on the menu. I know. Yes, so we said we're going to try it today. Yes, and it's called Eat and Mess and looks like this. But before we're going to try the recipe, we want to show you our visit to the pub. This is where we're having dinner tonight. The Chumley Arms in beautiful Cheshire. What's that? Lemonade. Lemonade. You're having the the fresh fresh grilled mackerel on toast as a starter, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. So I'm not going to have a starter. I'm going for the chicken supreme. Yes. Yeah. And and you will have the the burger. Yep, the burger. Okay. That's your yeah, mackerel on toast, which looks quite yummy. Enjoy. Yeah. So that's roast chicken and it looks absolutely scrumptious. That's Yorkshire pudding, so that contains wheat flour, but Yuck, Yuck is going to sacrifice himself <laughs> and he's going to eat it. That's Yuck's burger. It looks really good. Yeah, it is. Okay guys, we just had a look at the puddings and by the way, we absolutely love that it's called puddings here and not desserts. It's, a, it's quite charming, I think. And yeah, fancy it's something that's not on the menu. No, I would like to eat a mess. Eat a mess. It's not on the menu. No. And by the way, one of my favorite English words is roly poly. Right next to the Chumley Arms is this gorgeous house and it belongs to the pub. There are rooms inside that you can book. It used to be the headmaster's house. No eating mess. It wasn't on the menu. Why? No. I don't it's know. so summery. It's perfect. Yeah. And they had, um, what was What's the other one that's so popular? Sticky toffee pudding. Pudding? <laughs> yeah, sticky toffee pudding. Sticky, <laughs> sticky toffee pudding. We didn't drink alcohol. No. I don't know what's wrong. No. Yeah, you usually have that. Yeah, it's quite nice. But it's yeah, very heavy. Yeah, it's perfect for autumn and winter, mm -hmm. I think. And we should do that as well sometime. Yeah. But now we have to, we eat, need to eat make mess. yeah, we need to make eat a mess. such a lovely cottage. Now, what is Eton Mess? It is believed to originate from Eton College, of course, and one story is that the strawberry meringue and green pudding was dropped at a cricket match between Eton and Harrow in the late 19th century. Rather than waste the food, it was scooped up off the floor and served. Whether that's true, I don't know. It's a fun story anyway. An eaten mess, I think, is the perfect summer dessert. This is the recipe we're using. Eaten mess, and it's from BBC Good Food. They actually have great recipes, and yeah, it sounds pretty easy. I will link that for you down below in the info box. This is what you need. Strawberries, of course. Then double cream. Caster sugar, egg white, and icing sugar. And as you can see, there's nothing new in our kitchen, so no update here. No, because we decided to do our dining room first, yeah. and then next year we're going to do the kitchen. Yes, and in case you haven't watched our visit to the vault, we still want to do the vault, because we love the brand so, so much. So, yeah, but it will, it will just take longer. And regarding our dining room, there's no update either because 
the lead times are so crazy that we don't have anything new to report, unfortunately. We will probably have to wait until November. So we will just take the opportunity to make it like a probably a holiday season video and hopefully can show it to you then. We're quite excited but it just takes so long. So we're going to make the moringa first. You could also buy it in a shop but we said well you know what let's do it ourselves and it shouldn't be that difficult. You only need egg white and sugar for it. So the recipe actually says two egg whites but the eggs are quite small so we said we're going to use three. So don't have the sugar all at once but in in three lots. Okay. So that was very easy to make actually and this goes into the oven between 1 hour and 1 hour 15 at 120 degrees Celsius so yeah. And while we're waiting I'm going to make a cup of tea only using tea bags so nothing sophisticated. I think that's from Sainsbury's and it's Darjeeling fine tea. It's really good actually. So the meringue should be done. Yeah, they look good. Yeah. Although, you know what really confuses me? Like, in the shop, they're really, really white. And ours are a little bit on the brown side. Yes. Although, we actually, we had a very low temperature. These are organic ones because there are no chemicals in it. That's true. And I think they might use chemicals to keep them white. Yeah, you never know. And it's not a lot of work, is it? You just need to wait. Well, it takes an hour in the oven, but... I think meringue is so popular in the UK. We we don't we have that in Germany, but not as much, do we? No. There's a wedding going on, I think, in our village. I'd love to be a guest. So Jörg actually made this tiny one for himself. Yeah, to try. Look, it's white. <laughs> well, yeah. But is it good? Give it a try. Mm. Is it good? Mm hmm. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's good. What's the next step? Yeah. Strawberries. Well, cut them into pieces. Next. Now, after I've chopped the strawberries, mm -hmm. I take a third of them. Yeah. And I will blend them. Yeah. So that it comes some kind of strawberry juice or mousse. Kind of a sauce. Yes. It looks really, really good in the recipe. I mean, we have to wait what it will look like here in this house. That smells so good. Yes, it always smells like strawberries. You know what this reminds me of? Like um, spaghetti ice yes. in Germany. Oh. And now, careful. Mm -hmm. Okay, this looks like this now. And now, I think we need to uh, beat the, the double cream, right? Yeah. Okay. So, and now, I'm cutting the meringues into small pieces. 
Okay, that goes into the double cream. The meringue actually tastes so good. And then add strawberries. Erdbeeren auf Deutsch. Yeah, German is it's Erdbeeren. Now you just have to mix it. I love that. Me too. I just made a mistake. Yeah. Yeah, which you shouldn't do. <laughs> I put in all the meringue. Yeah. But you yeah. should leave a few crumbs yeah. for decoration purposes. We're calling this video, we're trying a very popular British dessert. And since this is our very first time, we know it the second time. Had some of it. Not all of it. Not no. all of the sauce. No, because that's my decoration now. <laughs> well, this looks very messy, as it should be. So we're putting the eaten mess into these preserving jars that we bought in Germany last year. We think they have a great size for a British pudding. Yeah, it's a great way to serve a dessert. We have a little bit left and we're going to put it into this bowl that is very old. We got it as a wedding gift, so it's almost 31 years old. It is. No, our wedding anniversary is coming up in September. Okay. Almost. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's probably not perfect, but for the first time. Oh. Is it good? Yeah. Well. Church bells are going strong. <laughs> so that's our result. I think the strawberry sauce looks a bit strange, doesn't it? Not really deep red and the rest. We just got a parcel and it's a tablecloth. So in case you watched our Kelmscott Manor visit, William Morris's summer home, we went to the gift shop and wanted to buy a tablecloth, but they didn't have a rectangular one left. So we ordered it online. Let's unpack. William Morris, Strawberry Thief Blue. Great. We just want to see what it looks like. Obviously, this needs to be washed. So, just a glimpse. nice that's really nice and what I like because the kitchen is green that's the tablecloth I think that goes really really nicely with the kitchen doesn't it yeah and also with the with a more color I like it it's lovely such a classic. We're going to officially try this now. We had it in the fridge for about an hour. Time for some tea. I call this eaten mess for beginners. Yeah, very much. <laughs> it's easy to make, but 
we still need some practice. Oh yeah. But I I need to try it because I haven't yet. Mmm. Okay, that's yummy. That's yummy. Mmm. Okay, it's amazing. And I'm not just saying that, it's really amazing. It's great, isn't it? Mm. Probably the meringue is a, a little bit, how do you say, squishy? Soggy. So, soggy. Yeah. But it's, it's still really, really nice. You look quite happy. Yes, because sometimes I like messy desserts. <laughs> yeah. So in case you don't know this dessert, you should give it a try because it's so easy to make. I was honestly quite surprised, but on the other hand, it's probably pretty obvious because there are not that many ingredients. So yeah, give it a try. Let us know what you think. We're going to enjoy the rest of the afternoon with a cuppa. And thank you so much for watching. As always, we'll see you again very soon. So until next time, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.